Hey everybody, this is just going to be a quick one. Uh, I really wanted to show you how to customize something on your toolbar and uh, I had an interesting challenge of my own this week and it worked out so well I thought I'd make a, a short little video. Uh, what I wanted to do was um, make some screenshots of, of my scene and uh, FreeCAD has a, a neat screenshot tool built right into it and uh, um, but it, it, it it takes a little bit of kind of monkeying around manually in order to get things to work. So what I, I really want to do is make the windows uh, kind of float and then make this window be a particular size. And then I want to do uh, tools, um, save picture with extended and I want to set this to a particular size for my screen or for the, the image that I want and I want the background to be white and then I want to give it a name and I'm gonna just say uh, um, and a uh, test file dot PNG and uh, and that works it, it actually uh, saved the image um, and uh, it looks a bit like this but that uh, what I want to do is I want to do that over and over again and I always want my image to to look the same so once I size this window I really want to do like a view fit and uh, and get the perspective the same so that every time I take the picture it's from the same perspective with the same size so um, I decided to, to write a macro to do that. Um, and this is what I, I put together with a little help from, uh, from the forum. Uh, and I'm going to go through this real quick, but line by line. So the first two lines um, in, imports pie side, and then uh, this turns off the animation. Um, so when you're repositioning your view it actually animates that and the animation takes a little bit of time and since the script runs fast uh, it could end up taking the picture before the animation is finished so I want to turn the animation off and then the next few lines uh, these just get uh, a handle on the uh, the window that I need the one from the active document these uh, they get a handle on it and then they reposition it and or they resize it to 320 by 320 pixels that's the size that I want and if I wanted I could change the, that uh, that size right here uh, my next line just calculates out the name of the uh, file that I'm gonna write and it uses the name of the object that I have selected when I take the picture I don't want the object selected anymore so I clear the selection and then the next two lines will um, it sets the view to the uh, axonometric view and then it does the view fit and that's what ends up it's basically the equivalent of pushing the that button and then the view fit button to move it into the the uh, center and size it so since the window is already sized uh, setting the view and then setting view fit it should always end up uh, looking the same okay then I just need to trigger the uh, capturing of the picture well if you look down in the Python console here's the line right there that uh, does exactly that it uh, takes the active document active view function calls save image and passes in the file name and the size and white for the background so I just modify that a little bit and I just pass in the name that I calculated along with uh, the extension and I'm actually going to grab two images here I'm going to grab uh, one with the regular background and then one with a white background and then finally I uh, turn the animation back on on my active doc or active window active view and that's all there is to it um, if I switch over to my model view and I have something like sphere selected and I run the uh, you'll see that it repositioned the window and it wrote the uh, images out to the disk 
Okay, so now that works fine in the macro, but what I really want to do is I want to have a toolbar button that I can uh, uh, hit to run that every time. So how do you customize your toolbar for to run a macro? Well, if right click on the toolbar area, there's an item here for customize. And if you switch to the macro section, and then look in the uh, drop down and find the macro that you wrote, mine is called uh, screenshot, like that. And you have to give it some sort of menu text. And you gotta pick an icon for, uh, for the button. And you can use any of the existing FreeCAD icons. Um, and I'm just going to, let's see, I'll pick, uh, I'll pick this eyeball. And then you add this uh, to the list. So these are the uh, setup uh, macros that are, that are already mapped here. And basically, this just maps a, uh, a macro uh, to a command. To, uh, um, it gives it an icon and, and uh, sets up the properties so that it can be used as a button. All right, then you switch to toolbars, and I want this to be everywhere visible in FreeCAD, so I'm going to go to global, and under global, I have no custom toolbars that I can add to, so I have to create a new one, and you can give it any name you want. I don't even know if the name of the toolbar matters. It'll show up in the view toolbars dialog or uh, menu item, I think, so I'll, uh, I'm just going to, I'll call it custom one. I'll leave it at the default. And then looking under the macros, there's the one that I just configured. You just add it under custom one and close it. And it won't be visible until FreeCAD is restarted. So I'm gonna exit out of this. Uh, I don't need to save my document. And then I just need to restart FreeCAD. Okay, right off the bat, you can see that my eyeball icon is on the toolbar. So I'm going to create a document and switch to the part workbench and just throw a couple shapes in here. Now, if I select a shape, uh, and because of the way I wrote the icon, I have to have something selected so I get a name. I'll just select cone and hit the eyeball. It will resize my image and set the view and view and uh, zoom it to fit and then it'll take the image and write it to the disk which looks like this all right that's a quick and dirty on how to customize your toolbar uh, there's a lot of power in that for customizing your own workflow i hope that helps and uh, maybe if you need to make screenshots or something the rest of this will help too let me know what you think thanks